Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Carl's Kicks. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do that. Everyone who has subscribed, I want to thank you so much. Almost at 300 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, please like the videos and share the video. So, back with another sneaker review. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys know this is a Jordan 1. You see the color of the box, so you probably know what the shoe is. Okay, I'm a little late doing it. I got the shoe in, um, but like I said, I've just been busy. But uh, here's the label. I'll let you guys check that out. Um, so we have Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Color is pollen white and black, size 12. Retail is 170. No, did not pay retail. Open up the box. We got our stamp there. Usually all Jordan 1s have a stamp on the lid. We got our regular paper now um, I said I did not pay retail for these I end up paying 237 after shipping and handling 276 um, now that might sound like a lot but I guarantee this shoe is going to be a three over three this shoe is going to be a four or five hundred dollar shoe I think it'll go uh, just like the universities are going or the uh, hyper royal so we got the Jordan 1 Pollen. I'm going to use the other shoe without the laces hanging. So we have the Jordan 1 Pollen. Now this shoe is special because um, I think this is the only yellow and black Jordan 1 besides that yellow and black Jordan 1 Mid they have. Which came out a while ago. It's black suede with the yellow. Um, and they might, I know they have a women's all yellow mid with flowers on it. Um, but as far as yellow and black high ones I think this is the only minus the um, now they do have the yellow orchard um, which is you know it's all black and it has the suede yellow on the back that's a high top came out in 2017 but besides that and guys correct me if I'm wrong but I think this is the only other high Jordan 1 black and yellow so I think that this shoe um, is gonna do very good uh, value wise if you plan on holding it okay so again, all around the shoe, we got this yellow, which is a pollen. It kind of looks like a, to me, it looks like a, a mustard color. Uh, what's that? Um, that special kind of mustard. Um, honey mustard. To me, it looks like a honey mustard color. I'm not sure how it's showing up on camera. It looks a little lighter, but it's like a honey mustard color. So we get that obviously all around the shoe. Uh, laces are also that color match up pretty well with the shoe it's a little different but that's pretty good then we got the black tumble leather on the toe of the shoe uh, side panels that tumble black leather uh, we got the tumble black leather on the back and again what a Nike sign is and uh, a little piece of a little piece of gold yellow uh, stitching right there have to wipe it off but a midsole we got white all the way around the shoe the stitching in that midsole is white as well and then the bottom of the shoe is that pollen color classic Jordan one bottom tongue of the shoe um, you know that material I, I can't think of the name of it right now but kind of like that jacket material tongue we got the pollen with the white Nike air with the black Nike swoosh Back of the tongue, of course, we got the Nike trademark. Now, the inside of the shoe, that just comes with the shoe trees. You know, you wanted to say that die cut, what is it? Oh, die cut sock liner. Inside, insole, all black with the pollen Nike Air, size 12. Um, I would, if you're thinking about getting the shoe, go ahead and pull the trigger. Um, Production date 12 18 20 to 2 9 21 now again that production date varies because when they do restocks or Some shoes, you know, they might have messed up and they put them back and then they fix them and release them So that date will, will vary, but you know things you always want to check for On these shoes is the R and the D and that oops, Sorry, so that R and that D should always kind of touch Okay and that's a good way. The smell of the shoe should be that nice, clean shoe smell stamp on the lid. Um, and that's pretty much it with this shoe. 
Um, let me know what you... Oh, and it did come with spare laces, white laces, which... You know what? I think it actually came with another spare lace, didn't it? I think it did. Mine fell off. There it is. So, it comes with the pollen laces, a white pair of laces, and a black pair of laces. Honestly, I like the yellow laces in it now because you got that black toe. And then this here is black. I feel like the... The black will look good with it, but I like the pollen laces with it. So we do have two pair of laces, the white ones and the black ones, and the pollen. So three in total. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this shoe. Um, I think that it's really clean. Um, can't wait to put these on foot. The leather quality of this shoe is pretty good. I mean, the tongue or the toe box, pretty nice soft leather. The overall leather on the shoe it feels like any other jordan one not as buttery as some of those 2017 drops um but i would say it's it's good quality leather um it doesn't have anything about synthetic so i'm taking that as real leather um and it looks like they did a pretty good job on the quality control i don't see anything really standing out on this shoe i think i saw on this one just uh oh no that's just a piece of it. So nothing really standing out. Everything looks pretty well sewn together. Um, no major glue stains. I'm not, I did a, a black light with this shoe. I'm not really gonna, nothing really lights up on the shoe besides here as you can see, that stitching will light up blue. Um, the tongue, just where the Nike Air is, that Nike Air will light up blue. Uh, so nothing too crazy on this shoe. Um, well, the in, the inside, the Nike Air on the inside, it kind of lights up. It looks like a, see it's yellow and then you hit it with the black light, it looks like it kind of turns reddish. Um, so that, that lights up. The Nike Air on the tongue lights up, the stitching. And um, that's all with the shoe. Um, obviously you shouldn't see any markings or anything on the shoe no kind of symbols um on my shoe i don't really see um any glue stains really which is i say pretty phenomenal because you always got some glue stains um but it's pretty pretty clean i don't really see any glue stains on the shoe um so again if you guys got any questions uh please message me let me know let me know if you guys are getting these shoes. Did you get them? Did you sell them? Are you holding them? You know, you got two pair of these. One to rock, one to stock. What's the plan with this shoe? I do plan on putting this on foot. Bought a nice sweater to match it. Um, so that's all. Thank you all for tuning in. We out of here.